Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube cover image or channel art. First, just a quick lesson on image file types. PNG is always the preferred file type, but it can be quite large. JPG files is lower quality, but a much smaller file size. So for example, when you're using Canva to create a design, YouTube channel art, you can see that it's the exact size that you need, 2560 by 1440. And there's some really nice designs that you can use to um, customize. But when you download it, it's like five megabytes and you can't upload it to YouTube because they only accept the two megabyte um, maximum file size. For example, if you download a free one like this, it downloads as a PNG. And then you have to muck around with uh, compressing it. Uh, they also, their templates are also a bit deceiving because their, their text is not always optimized um, for the design, for the YouTube design. So I'm going to show you how to use PicMonkey to create a YouTube uh, channel art. First of all, you go to PicMonkey.com and you're going to click Design and Custom and put in 2560 by 1440. We're going to be using a uh, template to guide guide us on where um, all the profile picture and everything is. So I'm going to just upload that. When you upload things to PicMonkey, you always have to stretch them out to make them fit your template. Okay. So you can see here, um, this is a design that you have to use, the size of the design. Um, when you open it up on desktop, this is this line through here is generally what you see. This is where your um, profile picture is, and down here is where your social media links are. On a mobile, you only see this area here, um, and if you open it on a TV, then you're going to see the full um, size of it. So we've uploaded that over our um, starting template. I'm just going to fade it out a little bit, and then I'm going to. Um, add my own background images. This is going to cover the whole design and then I'm going to um, put it behind that template so we can still see it. And then right click and go centre back and now you can see the template over top. So this is area here where you can safely put your text. Just click on the text tool. Um, add text. So I can put that text anywhere in this area here. Okay, so you can put in some more images, but you don't really need to put another logo there because your logo will be, well, most of the time, it's your profile picture. So your logo will be there, and this area is just for text or call to action 
um, and down below here will be where all your uh, social media icons are. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now I'm going to delete the template. And I'm going to fade out this background a wee bit. Okay, so that's my YouTube background. Now I'm going to save it. And you can see it's a JPEG. I always save things in the Pierce setting quality. You can do Sean, which is um, 1.5 megabytes, or Roger, which is smaller. But this is uh, 417 kilobytes, which is fine. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over to a YouTube channel. And then you can see here that the text is pretty much perfect on all devices. So go to select, and there you are. If you have a PNG file, file that you've uh, downloaded from Canva and you really want to use it, there's a really, quickly, um, really quick way to convert it to JPEG and that is, and I'll show you, download it from Canva as an image. And we'll save it. Then we'll go over to Pick Monkey and open open that Canva image um, and should have shown you what it was. It was about 5 megabyte. now we're going to click save, I'm not doing anything else apart from saving it, and as you can see it's gone down to 829 kilobytes, which is perfect for, for YouTube, so you can just do that, open it in PacMonkey, save it to your computer, and then you can upload it, and that's all, hope that helps.